In this video, we're going to utilize Melodyne 4's Audio to MIDI to create a texture, a sonic pad, underneath this acoustic guitar performance. Take a listen. Now, what we have here is a stereo file. It's an acoustic guitar, really nice performance. We're going to show you how easy it is to utilize Melodyne 4's audio to MIDI conversion to trigger a virtual instrument, creating a pad effect under this for creative purposes. So the first thing you want to do is select the audio you want to convert to MIDI, right click in this example, and I have a shortcut here, Command M. And because Melodyne is integrated into Studio One here in this example, it, it um, utilizes audio random access technology. It's built into the program. It's really easy to do. I just select it. Melanine analyzes the audio just once and everything is ready for action. Now, if you're not using Studio One, don't worry. It works the same way in other DAWs, just there are a couple more steps involved. So one thing I'd like to do now here is uh, we've got the Melodyne window opened up and the audio is transferred. I'm going to select Detach. The reason why I want to do that is I want to float this window and I want to make it full screen so I can get all of my beautiful Melodyne editing glory in one big view like this. So here's the audio. Now, if you learn anything from this video, let it be this. What you're looking at here is everything that Melodyne analyzes. It's all part of the performance. For example, down here in the lower registers, you've got these certain area of notes. These could be, for example, picks or thumps or anything related to the performance value of this take. And you've got higher notes, for example, here. This could be perhaps an overtone or a guitar squeak. That would all be converted. And it may not always sound good. What I want to do is compartmentalize this take into a more cohesive sonic view here in Melodyne so we can convert something more accurately that pertains just to the musical value. And the one way to do that is under the Note Assignment tool in the menu bar up here, just select it. And automatically, we've got these blinds. Now, what these blinds allow, allow us to do is say anything above that frequency, I don't want to assign a note to. I don't want to see it. It's, it's irrelative to what I'm working with. And the same thing with the lower registers, like this. Anything below those frequencies, I don't want to convert to MIDI, or it doesn't really pertain to my what I'm editing. Now, you're not removing it. It's not gone. It's still there. It's just processed back into the corresponding audio above that. You can see as I, as I did that, some of the notes changed their size and shape accordingly because the audio is blended back into the audio that we're, we're uh, looking at here in the center region. And another thing we can do really easily is... Utilize the note detection slider. As I slide this up, you see potential more notes are becoming discoverable. And as I slide it back, notes are being taken away. Well, not removed. They're being consolidated into other areas of the, the notes preceding them above and below the frequencies. So this is basically contouring the audio prior to MIDI conversion. I want to clean it up. I really want to tighten up my analysis and say, yeah, that's about right. Now, what we're looking at here is very different from what we started with. It's a more of a linear, pure presentation of the, uh, the waveform that we were uh, analyzed. And again, the reason why we did this is because we didn't want to assign extraneous MIDI notes to content that wasn't melodically related. Now, up here in track, let's insert an instrument track. Let's give it a name for some good housekeeping. Now, you can see that the audio that we're working with here is overlaid with the MIDI information, showing us that it has been processed and detected with Melodyne. Now, you can do any kind of editing to this, not just audio to MIDI conversion. Keep that in mind. But in this example, I'm going to simply click and drag it down onto my instrument track, bringing just the MIDI data. And there you have it. Now, if I play the, the instrument track back now, it's not going to do anything because there's no instrument assigned to it to trigger those MIDI notes. So let's do that next. I'll come up to instruments here 
And why don't we choose um, my tie? That's always a good one. Drag it onto the track header and just let it go. And the instrument loads. Now let's uh, plug in, let's go to pads, for example, and do warm coat. Now, when I play this back, what you're going to hear is the original acoustic guitar and the pad now performing with it, triggered by the audio to MIDI conversion. Let's try a different one. And why don't we try some strings instead? Let's open these up. Let's go to Softy Clouds. And one more. How about this one? There you go. So we started with the Melodyne detection here, converted it to MIDI data, and there we have it being played back on our virtual instrument. As easy as that. So hopefully you can see the creative potential in this in your mixes. It's really easy, powerful, and hopefully you picked up a couple of tips to help get you started. Thanks for watching.